Americans begin uh, each morning uh, by listening to our first uh, guest radio program. He has a brand new book entitled Private Parts. It is, listen to this, this is the fastest selling publication in the 70 year history of Simon & Schuster. You know they're terribly proud. So, ladies and gentlemen, put the kids to bed. Folks, it's, it's America's worst nightmare. Howard Stern. He's a great guy. Thanks, man. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Friday. I don't know. One of the... Who did the overnights last night? Allison? Yeah. Allison Steele? The night bird? She sprays, somebody sprays Lysol in here, man. It's giving me a headache. What's the point? You guys smell that, or am I the only one? It must be pretty faint. Maybe she sp sprayed the microphone or something? Where, where is this Lysol that everyone's spraying? Maybe it's this crap. What is this? Multisol. No, that would be it. What is that? That's like for cleaning tape heads and things like that. I gotta find that Lysol. I'm gonna throw out that can. If I find it, I'm gonna throw it out. They must hide it from you. Do you smell it every morning? No, no. Today, today I smell it. Would make it different. Why would she do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that she did anything. I just smell Lysol, and it makes. I hate that smell worse than anything. And why are there open bottles of water? What am I, a water supplier for this place? Does everyone just go in my office to take bottles of water? Gary, come in here. Forget it. Don't come in here. I don't want to see you. Yeah. No, come in here. Gary, I want you to talk to Allison Steele and ask her not to spray Lysol in here. Okay. You, can you do that? Sure. Or are you going to forget? No. Tell me right now. If you're going to forget, I'll have someone else do it. I got to know you're going to do it. You got to know it. I'm going to do it. All what right. you need, I do. All right. Also... Do, uh, do, do I supply the whole station with bottles of water? No, Poland Springs supplies the whole they station. They do, with but bottles my of water. water bottles Your water are not, is not, is not right, anybody right. else's water. All right. So, the in other words, like the sales department gets a bunch they of They do? Yeah. Okay, fine. Full, full, full. All right. Because I got news for you. One day that parade's going to end, and then we're not going to have any water. You follow what I'm saying? I, I know exactly what you're saying. Right. Limited, in fact, there's a big sign in there that says water is for on air staff only. Even the mm. interns aren't allowed to drink it. Put an X on each one of my bottles. Okay. All right? Thank you. And then I will be able to identify any perpetrator. If an X bottle appears in here right. and you haven't Papa brought Polheim. it in, you'll know what happened. No, I mean, you know, everyone's a big shot. They run around with these. I, I get, the Poland Spring sends me bottles of water, which I love. I, I appreciate it so much because I love that water. And I know that everyone walks around here now with a bottle. They, they, they open the bottle up, they take a swig, and then they throw it out. They, you know, they, it's like, it's, it's a luxury item. And I know one day Poland Springs is going to stop sending that water to the station. And everyone who used to take a sip, they don't even really want the bottle of water. They see a bottle of water, it's free. They take it. They, got they it open it up. They take a swig. Here, there's a whole empty bottle. Of, there's a whole full bottle of water you're, over there. You are absolutely right. We actually and it makes a, me nuts. We put a stop to a lot of that. But you're right. People yeah. were just like, go, go to a water fountain. What do you want from me? And then if they had to buy that bottle of water for two bucks or whatever it costs. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. And then I know when we're all out of water, I'll go to Tom and say, hey, what happened to that Poland Spring water? I'll go, well, we never, you know, they sent it. I'll go, great. Well, why don't you go... Uh, why doesn't the entire station rape me? Why don't, why don't they all come in? Get, get all the jocks and Tom and everyone else. I'll pull my pants down. They can rape me. Why not? I, I have no grease. All right. Gary Lee, you got that dopey look on your face. That scares me. I, I, I say there's no, nobody home. Oh, you got the look on your face that says nobody home. I, I, there's plenty of people home in here. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> How many people are there? Plenty. Yeah. And I thought you were going to go to a break soon because I wanted to talk to you about the morning's event. No, this is my worst part of the day when Gary starts telling me exactly what's on this list. Both. We could go to our more CIA hole. <laughs> so you don't even know what that we means? Oh, uh, we could, uh, I know, I know. It just drives me crazy. That's why I have to explain it to my you. My first thing in the morning, as soon as I say, let's go to commercial, Gary comes running and goes, okay, well. 
Here's what's going on. Yeah, but, but God forbid oh, Howard had something that has oh, to go on, oh. and I didn't tell him. Right. No, no, you've got to do it. It's your job. It's just, he didn't say you didn't have to do it. Oh, he was I saying see. He hates it. Does it drive anyone else crazy? <laughs> sure. Does it, Jackie? It, it, we just totally entertained. I know I am. <laughs> Jackie just pissed off because he can't take home two 12 packs of uh, Poland Spring in his bag anymore. Is that what he does? I know how bad, I know how yeah. bad he was he trying to say that. No, I know. I know. Jackie, uh, Jackie sees something free. Line. goes wild. Never, hey, never, what's this water? Never, I'll never take some home. You. What are you, you, you never took water home in your bag? I, I've taken a bottle of water. Yes, I have. No, you, take a it, you never, took a, you never threw a six pack in there? Never, ever, ever, mm. ever. Liar. I'm the only one who's ever seen it. I've seen it. I, I, I never saw a full six pack, but there were definitely the plastic rings. More than one. There were at least half. A six pack. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that would be three. <laughs> Rings left. <laughs> it would be like there'd be bottles of water poking through. Yes, put this in the closet. Yeah. And these are free. I want to get some free. Using the empties to build a house. Just because I don't drink them to work doesn't mean I can't oh, bring no, them home and drink them. And remember we can fill the raft with the empty bottles. He was doing his dieting and he had yeah. to drink, uh, what, 64 ounces of water a day. He would yeah. line them up yeah. on his desk and just right. down them. Yeah, he would measure the ounces. Yeah, and I'd go, you know, this he guy's unbelievable. all of his water here. Get off. This is a guy who drinks toilet water. Who <laughs> drinks from the sink. And now all of a sudden he needs a special water. <laughs> Everyone became a connoisseur of water. But it was the point that he had to drink 64 ounces of water throughout the yeah, day. Yeah, he was waterlogged. He here. Yeah, so he wouldn't have to do it yeah. anywhere else. Yeah, and he didn't have to pay for it. Right. And he'd take the other three home with yeah. him. Yeah. Hey. I don't want waters. I'm a title. I and work I, here. And when I used to see him line up that 64 ounces of water, I said to myself, you know, he's going to be fat again. And meanwhile, he's going through all the water. I mean, what is the point? You know, I mean, he's wasting all the waters and he's only going to be obese again. Your other ankle breaks. Ah, uh, that's nice. Oh. Hey. <laughs> My ankle's all better, I'll have you know. Them that gives it, gets it. Right. Jackie's putting curses on you. Yeah. I only said that to him because I can't say what I want to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's just interesting. We were talking about your drinking water yeah. and you saying that, but you're cursing our, our souls. But I see the other jocks around here now. Everyone walks around with these bottles of Poland Spring, and it's like they don't even want Poland Spring. They don't even, they're not even thirsty, but they yeah. see the free bottle. They open it up, and they go... And then, mm. just, then I see an entire full bottle open just sitting here. Well, you know what happened? All the people in the office started doing it in our yeah. office, and this is why we put a stop to it. Yeah, I have no water. And people would put down a bottle, and then they didn't know which. There were so many bottles around, nobody knew which one was there. So they take another. Yeah, just get a new one. Just throw, throw it away and get a new one. Yeah, crack open a new one. And meanwhile, I, I'm the only, I'm really the one who wants to drink this stuff. <laughs> in fact, Kathy yelled at. I think it was Ralph, and now Ralph puts a big R on his cap. You're good. So he knows it's his. Yeah, I mean, let Ralph drink from the sink. All of us. I need this water because I have paranoia about germs. I drink uh, water, bottled water. All of a sudden, I see the biggest bums drinking bottled water who who drink from toilets. They're drinking anything the rest of the day. Yeah, the rest of the day, they don't buy a Poland Spring. The rest of the day, they're drinking out of the toilet. All of a sudden, they get here. they they, they got to drink bottled water because I drink bottled water. Everybody ends up doing what I do. Can I do something on my own? They become very shishy. Yeah, now I got... I, I see. I, I see. Uh, I, I see bottles all over the studio, half open. Oh, makes me crazy. And then I know the day will come, Poland Springs going to stop sending it, and then I'm not going to have any bottled water. Because remember, I used to have to buy, I'd buy a six pack at the beginning of the week, mm. so I'd have a couple of bottles of water around. Then what would happen is a guest would come in, want water, and everything. So okay, fine. So I could never keep the place stocked with water. When we got Poland Springs as the sponsor, they always sent water. My prayers were answered. Now I see everybody at the station's got to walk around with a designer bottle of water. And I wouldn't mind if they drank it. They don't even drink it. They it's just the walk abuse. around with it. It's the abuse. Yeah, they they like it. They like. Oh, it's oh, is this free? Okay. And so much of it, so I'll just get another one. Yeah. Oh, I I opened one, but I'm not sure which one is mine. Oh, excuse me. I mean, you know, and then and everyone looks at me. Oh, hey, man, what are you making a big deal about the water for? What are you so uptight? What are you so uptight about? We're all hippies. Yeah, I'll go over his house. I couldn't even get a, a thing to eat. <laughs> he had one shrimp. Yeah, one place, shrimp. Right? It wasn't a shrimp. He goes, here, split this. <laughs> hey, Jackie, can I have some water? I'm drinking out of Jackie's garden hose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no offense. He didn't even provide you with a glass. No. He's like, yeah, we got a hose right out back. <laughs> Don't waste the glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Ralph walks around. He's another one with a bottle of water. He had an open bottle in each room. Did you see? There were five R bottles. 
Oh, no. Yeah. No, he's pretty calm down now. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, you're in here. I, I, have, I have I have one bottle, and I put I put my initial on it, so I know I, it's mine. I have one bottle, and I put my initial on it, so I know it's he mine. Was just wait. He was right outside the yeah. door yeah. waiting for me to yeah, I know. Name Get again. out. We don't want you on the air. We don't want you on the air. That on air light is a magnet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ralph can't stay away. Did you like see a moth to a flame? You mentioned his yeah. name. He was yeah. right in here. I know. I have an R on my bottle. Yes. yes. I have one bottle, and I have an R on yeah. it. Yeah, I have an R on it. <laughs> It never goes to waste. <laughs> I conserve my waters. I don't know why he's drinking any of my waters. Who asked him to? He's supposed to come here, blow out my hair, and go home. That's supposed to live here. Yeah. Homesteading. Drinking waters. I'm not drinking your water. We get it at E. No, you don't. You, we do. you gay you blade. Do you want to go back there, man? <laughs> there, there, there's no, a case of that. that back you back get it at E because I provide it. Who do you, how do you, where do you think well, their e-water comes from? They don't pay for it. We, we buy it. No, you don't. Come from the east. Wrong. Did he ever contribute? Wait, wait, what do you mean, we buy it? I, I, I thought it, I thought you it kicked was in ordered, for it? ordered through e. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. We buy it. When did you put up money for it? I don't know. I, I, because it's back there. There's cases back in the e-room. You buy that water? Yeah, we buy it. You buy a case Absolutely. of uh, water? Yeah. And what, Ralph chips in? No. No. I don't think, and no, nobody chips in. Good. He pays for Keep it. it Thank, you. E. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. We. I love Thank the you. We pay for it. You had it all wrong. Ralph gets we. it free someplace. Yeah, else. right. I thought he was taking my free water. Oh, that's fine, Ralph. Keep as many open bottles as you want. <laughs> we buy it. Yes. He buys it. It has nothing to do with it, even though it's Howie Stern show. Right. Remember I said last week that Ralph is good natured and can take anything? Yeah. That seems to stop quickly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Kathy Coleman called him just to tell us that Ralph is lying. He takes the water right from your office. Yeah, of course. Where is Kathy? Get Kathy on the phone. <laughs> I want her I want her as a witness. <laughs> yeah. And Kathy knows, and Kathy's fed up with Ralph. The only thing faster than Ralph getting in the studio is Kathy calling to rat on Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I get my water from E. So there. Of course not. I see him back there taking my water. We have a case. Listen, listen now, now, now we'll see what a liar he is. Kathy I think he gets it probably from both, whichever is easier. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I've seen him in the office sitting around and he takes a bottle of water. I right don't there. mind. At least if people would drink it, they'd leave these half bottles. Half bottles. Hello? Kathy? Yes. You're on the air. Hi, Howard. Expose him. Ralph takes water from your office all the time. In fact, I just had to yell at him. I think it was yesterday because he left. He took one sip. Right. And he left it on the edge of the desk. And, you know me, I'm constantly cleaning off the desk. Yes. And I had to run after him and say, yeah, this is your water. If you're going to take it, drink it, you know? Well, what do you say to that, Ralph? I, I, I didn't hear you. What, 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 what did you say? Kathy, do you mind repeating yourself? Because, I, you know what? I can hardly believe my ears. <laughs> Because you, the two seconds ago, I get my water from E. And, and I mark it. I mark it with an R. <laughs> Go ahead. Please repeat yourself. I'm sorry. Well, he, he took it from your office, and, you know, he took a sip of it, and then he put it on your desk, and, and he is ready to leave. And I said, you know, you have to finish drinking it or take it with you or something. I don't want to see it wasted. Yeah. There you go. Well, what, what, what is your answer to that? I don't recall that. Yeah, right. Ah. <laughs> I don't recall. All of a sudden, he's a politician. All right. Get out of here and leave my water bottles alone, please. I want those water bottles right. locked up, Baba Booey. Okay. All right. We're running out. We're running out of closet space. I don't to lock care. Stuff up. Throw everything else out. Howard. Yes, Kathy. Can we have a list of who should be drinking it? Yes. Here's the list. Howard. <laughs> Thank you. That's the list. All right. Thanks. Robin wants some water. That's all right with me. <laughs> well, thank you. Jackie could have one bottle in the morning because he wastes. <laughs> and what about Fred? Do you drink the water? No, I don't. Good. Then Fred is off the list. Never had one. That's it. Ralph will get from E. Baba Booey can drink from the sink. He's done it for a long no, time. No, 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 no. I have to tell you that for over You're a on year. Sink water now, over Ralph. a year, I drink I drink Poland spring water oh, at home as well. Really? I, in fact, I haven't had tap water in over a year. Well, get used to drinking tap water. <laughs> the tap water here is fine. That's it. I have it at home and at the office. We have two. Yeah. Good. We pay for it there, not here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kathy. Here's the list. You ready? Myself, yes. Robin, Fred, and Jackie. Okay, none of the special interns or... What, what, who, who's the who special intern? Special intern. See, I consider Gorilla a special intern. Gorilla doesn't need to drink bottled water. Okay. Well, all of a sudden... on a y little yellow bus? The only reason people drink bottled water <laughs> is because it's sitting here free. The reason it's sitting here free, I need it on the air. Otherwise, they'd be drinking from the tap. They wouldn't even consider drinking bottled water. A special intern. I need... In other words, if there was free lobster here, they would they eat it. it. Because it's not here, nobody eats it. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. There's water here. Drink from the sink. 
Like a dog. <laughs> That's what I would be drinking. <laughs> and if it wasn't here, I'd go out and say, buy me a bottle of water. What? Everyone's into these bottled waters now do, because it's free. Do you realize that the water fountain here at K-Rock has been broken for like three years and nobody's complaining? No one cares because there's Nobody endless to... bottles of water. But one day, Poland Spring will not be here. And everyone, I want to see, pretend like Poland Spring stopped sending the water. Lock up the bottles of water. I'm not being a dick. I'm just no, saying no, this no, is no. reality. Let's pretend like the drought is here. Poland Spring has stopped sending water. Let's see what everyone does. That's all I'm saying. A gorilla, not, gorilla this is a kid who eats garbage from garbage pails. All of a sudden, he needs bottled water. So who would be another special intern? Well, really, gorilla is the only one. Oh, okay. John is, uh, what about John? Is he allowed to have any? Howard? Stuttering John? No. Yeah. Why, why does he need a bottle of water? And these guys, oh, I see them. They take a sip and they leave it. They're not really into it. They're really not even into drinking water. That's the truth. I clean the office out every day of at least five bottles that are almost full. I know, and they're drinking sodas the rest of the... They come here, they see a bottle of water, they open it up. They just, they, they, they feel, they see it's free. It's laying there. They open it up. If they had to pay for it, they wouldn't open it up. This is my point about people. The same with welfare, same with Medicare. They see it's free. They got to use it. This is what I've been telling you about human nature. People are skunks. People are filth. Humanity is lost. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Don't feel so good about yourself. <laughs> oh, dear. I beg to differ with you. I don't have these traits. <laughs> Let me tell you this. If bottled water was in here, Baba Bowie would drink from somewhere else. Flop off water. When it's bottled water wasn't here, let me just go on record and say yeah. I bought water. Right. That's why you're allowed to have a bottle. <laughs> Chocolate bars... If they were here for free, Baba Booey would eat them. When they're not here for free, he doesn't eat them. I still eat them. Yeah. That's an example. The bad example. No, the point is you wouldn't eat 20 chocolate bars. You wouldn't go out and buy 20 chocolate bars. I know you. My point is they see something free and they use... I wouldn't even mind if they used it. They, what Kathy says is true. She's cleaning up these bottles of opened water. And the water, it's, just, it's wasted. Yeah. And then when I'm going to want one, it's not going to be... I drink the water, and I told you who the list is. I'm not kidding you. about this. Flop, flop, slowly. Flop, 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 flop. There are three people allowed access to that water. Fred oh. doesn't drink it, so forget him. Okay. At least you. Robin, me, and Jackie. And Jackie's one per day. Right. Jackie's limited to one <laughs> per day. I got it written hey. right down here. If he has a special diet that he's on, give him two. <laughs> All right? Because it's only going to get fat again. <laughs> All that water I wasted invested in his diet. Yeah. That's right. Jackie don't appreciate free water anyway. This doesn't count as salary, does it? Well, Jackie be paid in water. Uh-oh. Don't worry about it. I barely drink the water. So. Good. So you won't miss it at all. I don't give a crap, but no. Uh -uh. Good. The guy who lives in the office is Jackie. Jackie opens a bottle, fills up his tea, leaves it there. And yeah, I know. I know. And, 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 well, Jackie gets one bottle a day. Now, see, this is typical. You are very good at storytelling. Why? And it's hard. To, and a lot of times you tell the truth, and you're very good at weaving in the crap. Huh. John will come in with a story like that. I haven't had a cup of tea in the three years that we've had a coffee machine, I haven't not finished a bottle of Poland Springs since the last time we went through this. He's saying he's in here completely yeah, Howard, Jackie, I got three people saying the same thing. We've seen you take a sip of water, leave it there so many times. You, you know what it is? Not it in isn't, three it years. Isn't story no, it, it, spell Jackie, it. Spell it. Whatever, tea, whatever you use it for. It ain't story. John, time. you don't have to put Jackie, water Jackie. in a coffee mug when you make coffee out of the coffee whatever. machine. Whatever. You come in there, take a sip of water, leave Never, it there. Never, ever. Jackie, you guys me. yell at me for throwing the stupid plastic bottle yeah. in the paper thing. Yeah, that you, you do too. You think I throw it in there with that you water? Do too, we don't tell you're you. Lying, you're you're stuttering, and you're stupid. Jackie, I swear to God, Three. everybody here. Lying, stuttering, and uh, stupid. You want to know something? I'm going to tell you this something, is a story. Jackie. Kathy, right, Kathy's on the phone. Ask her. No, yeah, ask I, her. I'm going to tell you something. I'll ask Kathy in a minute, but I'm going to tell you something. I don't doubt that story it for a minute. It doesn't seem far-fetched. Because, Jackie, no offense. Everyone around here abuses something free. It's human nature. I understand the nature of humanity. You see something for free you can't resist. I guarantee you, in five years when you hit 60, you are going to be abusing that Medicare like crazy. You'll be at the doctor's office every day. He's going to move in. Yeah. Hey, this is free. Hey. Oh. Pull out my teeth and put on some false ones quick. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, is it true? It's true. Yeah. Of course it's true. It isn't only me. He says I'm making, because and Howard's Jackie, reading a story. Three Jackie people back there say, Kathy, I'm not. Oh, you're, oh. Jackie, so Jackie will get one bottle a day. If he wants to throw it out, he can throw it out. That's Kathy, it. Not, not true, Tobin. 
No, Jackie, you know I talked to you about it a while ago. And you just Three you years ago, Tobin. No, 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 dear. It was this, this past, like, uh, you know, the last oh, oh. time it was cold out. What was that, October? R wrong. Kathy, wrong. I am glad this has come up on the air. Yeah, you your last back rub, Tobin. <laughs> <laughs> she could care less. Yeah. With those fingers of yours, she probably got a disease. That's right. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no nails on them. <laughs> That's what she needs. But Jackie is not aware of his own behavior. That's oh. right. Oh! 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 Excuse me. Who said that? Maybe I'm trying to book you. I'm you. You don't know what you're doing. He's not aware. Jackie's the same guy who used to be a child night piling seven bottles of water into his little bag so he could get out free. I know. Listen, I don't. Listen, I don't mind. If somebody was really into this bottled water, <laughs> I got into this a couple of years ago. I used to always buy bottles of water. Poland Spring became a dear sponsor of ours, and they've done a terrific job and they're sending us water. They've been very nice about it. I don't know even know why they do it, but God bless them, they do it. And now I want to drink this bottle of water. And what happens is the whole my whole staff is they see the they see the bottles and they got to grab them. I wouldn't mind if somebody even drank them. They don't even really want to drink them. I'm doing them a favor. Can I put in my... Let them buy sodas or whatever they want. Can they I... really don't want water. Can yeah. I put in my request? Yeah. I, if it's okay with you and you don't have to say yes, I drink about a third or half a bottle a day, which I save till the next day because mm -hmm. I have my Metrix bar at lunch. Yeah. And I have, like, a, is that okay? No. I would like Go to... to the sink and fill up your water jug with <laughs> water. Okay? I don't That's, have a water I told drink. you. I told you what to do. I drink two bottles a week. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want you in my water. You never used to drink it. I see you eat like a dog. This guy, this guy, and he got, people send in stuff. I go, Gary could be poisoned. He goes, I don't care. <laughs> now he's worried about water. You got to understand, this guy's, he's got a belly on him like a, like jiggles like jello. <laughs> and he's sitting and worried about waters. Drink regular water. With all the crap you eat, now you're worried about water? Well, I've been healthy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you've been healthy. Do me a favor. This healthy is going to last another week. I see what you eat. He comes to my house. Cookies, Fritos. He's got all kind of junk food. <laughs> I didn't eat cookies or Fritos. Come on. Oh, oh, this time you didn't. Right. Because you're on your diet. That's right. Yeah, do me a favor. With all the crap you eat, you know how hard you it is to drink... fry cookies and Fritos in that house? <laughs> That's right. But you find them, don't you? Sure. Do me a favor. <laughs> do me a favor. Drink regular water like you do. Please. And if you got bottles at home, bring them in. You're welcome to bring in your own bottles. Everyone's welcome to bring in whatever they want for this show. All of a sudden, everyone gets here for four hours. They're waterlogged. <laughs> I see Tom Chiasano every minute with the bottle. He's peeing like a racehorse. Yeah, he can't get to the bathroom <laughs> and not find him in it. Yeah, another freebie. So Tom's off the list? Tom is not to touch my water. Let him get it himself. Well, you know it is also that water has become such a health conscious issue now. Right? Yeah, yeah. To drink it, Only so... here it's health conscious. Well, no, no, Only no. no, no. Here. I got to be honest with you. At home, yeah. I drink water. I know. You I can drink whole, water. I have a whole good. Whole container good. Then bring your container in and drink it. You know. Good. That's good. You got a container. Everyone became healthy on my ass <laughs> with water. Everything else they eat is garbage, but they, with water they're going to be healthy. As long as you're not supplying food, they're going to eat the way they want. When I take away the waters from everyone, and I see them going out and buying bottled water every day, then I'll know they're into health. It's a, it's a sham with you guys. It, you see bottled water, you became into bottled water. No, as I soon just, as it disappears, you're not going to be into bottled water. No, I just know it's healthy. You guys, we, they, you should see the junk they eat back there. Like what? You eat anything filled with chemicals, aspartame. I mean, you'll drink, you'll drink uh, bottled teas with uh, with um, with uh, Nutri -Sweet. NutriSweet in it. Yeah, but the thing but, is, well, aren't you worried about chemicals? I'm just, losing, I'm just worried about losing some weight. Yeah, I, but what about NutriSweet? I don't care about so, if you're not, so then why don't you drink regular chemicals. water? Then drink tap water. Oh, well, I guess you could drink tap water. But, yeah, of course. You but how, you're not how, worried about sometimes, chemicals. Sometimes you turn the tap water on here and it's brown. You no, it's not. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. I'm in there every day. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. New York City tap water is considered the cleanest. I taste the water. It tastes funny. Yeah, well, then buy a bottle of water. That's all. That's what you do. Can, I buy, oh, wait, can I buy them off you? No. Absolutely not. Go to the store and buy, like everybody else. That's it. Kathy, please. I want my waters locked up. I'm not making a joke out of this. This makes it so much easier because we're constantly ordering water. It's like, a, you know, another one of my duties. Yeah, I know. It's a disease. Yeah. No, you should not constantly be ordering water. Good. There's serious work that has to go on here. All right. I'm not sure what it is, but <laughs> I know there must be something more important. Stop the water ordering. Right. Stop the water ordering. Now you're going to see a vast reduction. The water supply is going to grow around here. Grillo's in the back. He's like, you mean he works for free and I can't even get free water? That's right. But he works for free. Now all of a sudden, this became everyone's payment. I get paid in waters. <laughs> it's ridiculous.
<laughs> this woman is on the phone every day ordering waters. Yeah, if, if we got caviar for free, Grillo would be... Yeah, right. Caviar. I get paid in caviar. <laughs> the river stern is run dry. Okay? That's all. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. All right. That is Kathy Tobin, who will not be ordering waters. Only for me, Robin, and, Jack and one a day for Jack. <laughs> well, all the talk about waters got me parched. Can I have one before the... Uh, no. <laughs> the waters have stopped. What? Not even one before the embargo? No. Come on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Sorry. Go S.E. They have cut water. Off. Immediate cut I'm off. like those guys. You, know, you ever see that movie where there's no water left on the planet? And the guy in charge is the guy who has water access to water? There was a movie like that. And he laid over there. It was a Star Trek. And the guy finally figures out how to make water? Yeah. There's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Not Mars. They they, they, oh, they yeah. handed out oxygen. It was air, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Total recall. Now it's now it's total recall here. Total recall too. Instead of air, it's water. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna drink from the tap, and you're gonna be just as happy. You drink aspartame. I see what you drink. You gotta say, what, I, I'm just, I mean, right now I'm like... But drink these so-called natural drinks filled with aspartame. <laughs> well, but, the, but, but, but the biggest concern is to lose yeah. weight. That's yeah. what it is. Well, so then drink water, but you don't but have you to drink my bottle water. water. Yeah, what I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I can't. The biggest I'm concern is to fine. lose weight, so, so you can drink anything know, now. You're free. I, I gotta admit, it's free. You see, it's like, hey, you know what? I can go downstairs and get a soda, but there's a water right there. Right. I drink water. Right. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, yeah. It's Do me free. And all the, the rest of this weekend, you're going to be drinking Coca-Colas and sodas. I gotta be honest, I do drink water at home, and it is become... Good. Help drink it from the tap. Good. You know? Good. Drink as much water as you can. Bring a cup and drink as much water. You can drink right out of the sink. You don't even need a cup. It's going to be exciting. Wait till you see, like a dog. You're going to lap it right out of the sink. I tell you, I never saw anything like that. Everyone's walking around with a bottle of water. It makes me nuts. And I see the water's in. Hey, hey, how you doing? It's, like a big, it's a big club around here with the water. Everyone's, their hands are frozen like this in a cup formation. Like this. They walk around. Oh, hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm drinking my Poland Spring. I never saw anything like it. If it's not here, no one will drink it. They hand it to them now when they walk through the door. Pretend it doesn't. Listen, there's nothing in this station that exists for free. I have no argument. There's nothing to eat. There's nothing to drink except this Poland Spring. I have no argument. So we'll, let's pretend like the Poland Spring isn't here. I drink one a day on the air. Here it is. This is my one for the day. Mm. I drink one a day. Sometimes too, I, I even buy uh, hot water from the. I, I, I drink hot water. I buy it from the uh, deli. And look at this. This is my bottle of water. And this bottle of water will be finished. I see. Uh, the disc jockeys all taking bottles of water from my office. There's a there's a, a study saying that tap water is really bad. Yeah, not New yes, York tap water. The, the latest studies have shown that tap water has a lot of junk. Let me just say something. If tap water is bad, I can name 50 other things that you eat every day. That are that's just that's worse. Do they have tap water in them? The things like yeah, that? of course they're made with tap water. See? Bagels are made with tap water. Do you know that? What do you think? They open a bottle of water and make bagels. Oh, you know that. Oh, that you know. Yeah. Nothing else you know, but that you know. But you eat bagels from time to time. I don't eat them. You never had something on a bagel? I don't eat bagels, I said. I'm sorry. Howard, you eat rice, and it's cooked in tap water. I mean, come uh, on. It's boiled water, you moron. Yeah, I know, but still, it's tap water. Oh, my God. He doesn't have any understanding of, of chemistry. <laughs> Stupid as a wall. You boil the water, the, 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 germs, the germs go into the sky. The germs go away, but right. the other things They don't. become reincarnated. <laughs> So that's it. That's the it's end of that. Wizard. In other words, you guys, I see what you eat. I see what you guys eat. You, go, you order Chinese food. It's got monosodium glutamate. It's got fats in it. I always get the MSG It's out. got fats in it. It's got chemical starches in it. It's got all kinds of fake things that are made in a lab. You guys are worried about water all of a sudden. We're going to start somewhere. They're all phonies. <laughs> all right. Very good. Thank you. That's the end of water. I don't want to hear about it anymore. If I catch anybody with a Poland Spring bottle, that's mine. That's marked with an H. They're fired. I thought you were putting an X on each button. No, I think an H is better. H. Okay. H, if you don't mind, an H. H. X is H. too easy to counterfeit. Uh, uh, let me... X is too easy to counterfeit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're uh, not worried about the ink seeping through the plastic if you mark no, the bottle? No, no. You That's sure? all right. Sure? I'm not worried about it. Uh, It'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing seeps through plastic. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, let's take a break. I'm way behind, but I settled a, a very serious problem around here. <laughs> and I'm only, I'm only, I only just woke up. Thank you. I, all I have to do is look around here and see a half-empty bottle. It's not even half-empty. Look at this bottle I found. I threw it in the garbage. Hold on, look at this. This will make you nuts. <laughs> here, oh my this God. is what I found. Yeah, one sip. 
Look. I don't even think that's open. Oh, it's open. I know, but look yeah, at it. It's correct, like, and they took one, one little, little sip. sip. I would like to take this bottle and have it fingerprinted and the lip marks taken off here. I can find out whose lips are on it. Is there it. lipstick on it? I don't see lipstick on it. Well, that ain't Ralph. That don't mean it. That ain't Ralph. Very good. And it ain't Ralph. <laughs> Hey, uh, All right, right. If I could just have one thing, <laughs> Alice, Alice is still cold. Just saying that she doesn't spray, spray Lysol. So why do I smell Lysol in? It's not her. So somebody okay. sprays Lysol. If Allison doesn't spray it. There's no one else on overnight. So is anybody maybe from the E crew or Gorilla will have to? I don't know. But someone is spraying something in here. You don't have a nose like this and not be able to detect smells. I got nostrils the size of your fist. <laughs> All right, thank you. Even my kid says to me the other day, Emily says, "Boy, Dad, you got big nostrils." I go, "That's right." So don't need, don't be smoking anything in your room or anything. I'll snip you right out. Are you giving her a nostril fixation? <laughs> yeah. Well, my kids, you know, my kids are obviously a lot smaller than I am. Every time they look up at me, all they see is two big black holes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. The room's safe. No bombs. Every, everything else is clear. Yeah. I'm like a bloodhound. <laughs> Fred, did you wipe? Oh. All right, all right, very good. We're going to we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back right after these. Words. I'm sitting in the, um, you know, we have to sign autographs a lot. You know, people send in uh, requests. Some of the salespeople get requests for my autograph and stuff. And they even request Robin's autograph, of course, and Fred's and Jackie's and even Baba Booey. Yeah. Which is shocking. <laughs> Baba Booey has his own press photo, and, uh, you know. Off a pole high. So anyway... Gary's well, strange press photo. He's hardly in it. Yeah. <laughs> He's spray painting Baba Booey on a wall. Flop up lowly. So yesterday I'm watching Gary sign a picture. Uh-huh. And, you know, I've seen this for years and I never thought about it, but it took Jackie to point it out. Jackie goes, You actually pointed it out in your book. No, I didn't you really. You do. You do. No, I pointed out the... Well, yeah, but... You do make a reference to it in your book. Yeah, I do. But I don't know. But, but Jackie kind of hit it on the head more than I did. He said... What's that little homo thing you draw underneath your name? <laughs> now, wait a second. Do you Gary mean, does... Do you mean homo gay or homo, like, nerdy? Homo nerdy. Oh, okay, not homo gay. Maybe gay, too. I don't know. I think it's it is. Like, Gary signs his name. I don't know if you've ever noticed it. No, I've never seen this. And he signs it, boy, Gary, and he puts, like, a little H underneath the G. H. He puts, like, a little... Well, he puts a mark of some sort. Two sort of... A like, symbol. Yeah, okay, do it big. Draw your, draw, write your name and do it. Look at it. What is that? I said to him, why do you do that? What is it, like a superstition or something? There you go. Let me see that. No. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, I guess it's like a superstition. Well, you think something... something? I don't know what it is. Where it's did a, that start? I have no idea. You know, and I don't do... And I'll tell you something else. It's can you H. stop doing it? It's H for homo thing. No. Can you stop doing it? You mean, can I... Will I do it for you or can I? No, could you if you needed to? I don't know. I don't... You know what? And I don't... Why? Think, do you think something bad would happen to you? And I don't, I'll tell you something. I don't... Because like, you know what? I noticed... I have a little of this, so I noticed it. I used to have this. He has a thing where, like, he has to draw that little insignia under his name. It's like a good luck charm. Yeah, it's like I think he believes that that's his good luck charm. I and mean, look at the luck okay. he's having. All right, I'll, I'll go with that. So, like, you couldn't even stop drawing that. I guess I could, but it would be really hard because I've been doing it for so long. But when I saw my name... No, but I mean, could you stop it mentally? I mean, could you say in your mind, I'm not going to do it anymore, that's and it? And it's over for Or would you have a it psychological... Would it would bother oh, you. Oh, sure, it would bother me a lot. Yeah, I don't mean like I would force you to stop right, doing right. it. I'm saying, like, you could you I'll stop go... doing it? I could stop doing it. Yeah. It probably would... No, no, I mean, I could... Let do me see you write your name without doing it. Oh, I could do... That's easy. Oh, okay. I could do it without doing it, but it bothers me. I'd rather, it does? I'd rather be doing it. You'd rather complete it? Yeah. And it's just, it's what, what really goes on in your mind if you don't if you don't complete it? What happens? It's incomplete. It's like there's something unfulfilled. Yeah, but do you feel that something could happen? No, to you? I don't feel like I'm going to die or anything. Do you feel like something like might happen to no, your kid or no, nothing, no, nothing? No superstition. There's nothing there. No, I just want to do it. You want to do it. You don't have to do it. Do you have to do it? No, I don't have to do it. I think he has to do it. He says he feels funny if he doesn't. Can I do see it? that? Which one? That's the, the, disturbing the, the enough. Rip it see that? I'm going to rip this up. You can't complete it. Okay. You can never complete no, it. No, you, you're on the wrong track. Am I? Yeah. I don't know. There's something weird with him. Because I see it every time he has to draw that little well, thing. Well, he is because compulsive I, about a lot of things. Oh, yeah. I, you want to get something. You want to talk about stuff that I am compulsive about. Yeah. You know, go into my office and move the stapler or turn the phone upside down. What would happen it if It makes you, me nuts. Yeah, it makes you nuts. Why? Because it's not the way it's supposed to be. And will anything bad happen to you if it's... 
that way? I don't know if I feel anything bad will happen to me, but I really can't go on with the rest of the day. I feel like, a, um, how do you put almost like a twisting inside. Yeah. Like something, you feel... Is you that know the something same wrong? feeling you get when you don't put that little H underneath your name? No, that's that's a whole different it's thing. a different feeling. You know, it's funny because if he's in a hurry, he could be running in a hurry and he has to get out of here and you ask him to sign something. He's running, hurry, and he'll stop. My like, boy Gary, and hey, put that little squiggle. that little that squiggle. Yeah, it's weird. With that squiggle, see if you can stop doing that. It really looks stupid too, and it looks stupid. Look at how small well, it is. It certainly doesn't mean anything. Right, it doesn't mean a thing. It it's a like squiggly it. line with two lines drawn through it. Two Joe, Baba Booey, boy Gary, with the squiggly lines. <laughs> it's just weird, man. Jackie goes. I don't think he could stop himself from making that little homo thing. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will tell you, really, if the phone, that, that whole thing, that I, could, I can't go on with the rest of the day. Yeah. Like, if you, if you said, if you did all that stuff in my office, and then you said, Gary, just forget about it. Just go do something else. Go in the back and do something else. I would go in the back, and all I would think about is that I have to get back up front. And move See, I didn't realize you had to do that on every autograph. That's what, that's what I mean. I didn't address pop, it pop, 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 right. in a book. I mean, I just, I didn't realize you have to do that. It's, I don't know, it's just like a yeah. habit, I guess. Wow. I just wondered when it happened. When Did it happen? Yeah, when did you start signing your name like that? In high school? Yeah, like in high school. Wow. You mean in high school? I thought you were doing that, like, getting artsy no, fartsy. No, no, people no. On, you mean in high I school? Like, like, if I wrote somebody a note or something in high school, I would put, put that underneath it. <laughs> I mean, I could bring you stuff that, I'll tell you what, I could probably somewhere, if I look at my mother's house, find notes or something, letters that I wrote in, okay. ninth, in ninth grade that have that That's on okay. It. We don't. We believe you. Eighth or ninth grade. I, probably I don't need to see your eighth or ninth grade notes. Yeah. That's the kind of thing you do when you write when you're talking on the phone and you're writing. Yeah. You know what I mean? You I, I don't know. I've never seen that. But I thought it was like he got carried away with himself, and now well, he's yeah, got that's a... what it looks like. It looks like now is Gary Esquire. Right. Yeah. Like, it's almost like he's a lawyer. <laughs> At least when I saw my signature, there's two four words with, all, oh, and they all have letters in them. Hey, Steve. All right. Stuttering John went over to Paul Servino's restaurant, and uh, before he got thrown out, he actually got to uh, interview. Freddie Roman. Freddie Roman, the Friars Club comic. Is he not one of the officers of the Friars oh, Club? Dean. Yeah, he's dean. the dean of the Friars Club. Okay. Oh, dean. What's funny about Freddie Roman, it, fr nobody knows who Freddie Roman is, I'm sure, in our audience, but he's some comic who hangs out at that Friars Club that Jackie belongs to. Like mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a place where comics are supposed to hang out. But and like, so Freddie hangs out there. So Freddie hangs out there. So does Jackie. It's all these, like, it's all these comics. You, I don't know. It's like a morgue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old Comics Club. So anyway, and Jackie's the kid on the block because he's in his 50s. It's like a rest home for comics. <laughs> yeah, right. But this is kind of funny because I think John hits him up with a Pat Cooper question. Pat Cooper is so angry with us. Yes. Yeah. You can always reach me at the Friars Club. Why don't we make contact? Hi, Freddie. Can we ask you a question? Sure. WXRK Radio. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Let me ask you, um, what is Pat Cooper's problem? Pat is a wonderful man. He just is angry at anyone else that's breathing. Exactly, <laughs> man. But other than that, a wonderful guy and a credit to his religion. Freddie uh, knows how to play that one because he knows if Pat hears something bad. Pat will yell at him. Well, we've had famous confrontations between Freddie and Pat yeah. right here. Yeah, it's always good. Whatever that may be. Why are so many comedians Jewish? Well, so many comedians were Jewish because it was a way of getting out of the ghetto in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. It was a way to get up. Yeah. It. Then other groups went into the ghetto, and now we have other groups that are comedians because the Jews are all in the suburbs now, and they don't have to get out anymore. Yeah, exactly. Hey, he's, he's as clear as um, as Jimmy the Greek. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's he talking about? He's just so happy to be interviewed. You know, I don't think there's been a microphone in front of his face in a while. I think he was like the only guy in a tux at the whole time. Yeah, yeah, I think he was pretty happy. <laughs> he gets dressed up every time. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. verbose. There's no question going to throw him. Why are the Friars anti-Martling? Anti-we love Jackie Martling. Yeah, but they won't put him on the uh, on the day the Friars roast. That's I mean... not true. As a matter of fact, this year we're true. roasting Steven Seagal. And I will go out on a limb and invite Jackie personally sure? he through says, this interview. Because he says it's, it's, it's because of Howard that, you know, that's why. No, that why and we'd love Howard to be on the day. I know. But Howard is cranky with us, and we don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either. Let we me... love hey, Jackie. They're going to invite you on a day. Hey, uh, I would call Freddie today and said, say you'll take him up on that invitation. Hey, hey, excuse me. Uh, uh, is this Mr. Freddie Roman, Dean of the Friars? I understand he's going to be Rooster Steven Seagal. 
Oh, uh, it was it was uh, represented to me through a tape that I would be allowed to sit on the dance. This would be my great honor. I'm too busy. I got to get a tape of that roast. Uh, I'm believe. calling to accept. Hey. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, Mr. Stevens, you go. F you. <laughs> you suck. You don't have. Uh, you don't even throw two little Chinese stars. Let me see you lift your leg. Hey, and uh, Freddie Roman, eat me. Hey, hey. I, I just can't wait to hear that roast. Howard, you gotta go. Yeah. So, <laughs> you gotta go. So no one laughs. He can blame it on you. Yeah, right. Well, if Aww. Jackie's roasting, we have to have a table. Hey, hey. Hey, oh, Steven no. Seagal's so fat. When he walks down the aisle, he looks like you. Let her cue. Hey, you hey. Oh, screw you. He's like first aisle. Yeah. <laughs> when Steven Seagal got married to Kelly LeBrock. He sides like two aisles. Oh. 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 Hey, hey. Hey, Steven Seagal. You do karate. Okay, hey. Uh, uh, karate. All right. Hey, cheeks. Uh, Chinese stars. Get on the bathtub first, then fill it up. Steven Seagal got so heavy. He gets in the bathtub, and then there's a flood. What do you want to know the water pours out? <laughs> Tall guys with long hair. Let me ask you, which fryer is, is, is incontinent? There are no fryers that are incontinent. Those that are older, God bless them, we have no problem. Wait, no question throws there this guy. There are urologists that are members of the club. Can I move ahead? Well, I do, I do what you always want me to do. I, you know, I ask him if you're a comedian, can you tell me a joke? Uh, he has one for you, of course. Well, he tells one about the E show, yeah. Oh, he does? Yeah, just about, you know. Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> to take care of any problems that may arise. All right, just one more, Freddie. Didn't you used to sell shoes for a living? I most certainly did. How long before you're back at it? Uh, my career is at its zenith right now. Yeah. I'll probably not have to sell another shoe. But you're a comedian, right? Where does Freddie Roman perform? I guess in the Catskills to, to old Jews or something. I guess so. Hmm. I'm a comedian, right? Yeah, I, no, well, you are a comedian, right? Well, thank you, good. You tell me a joke rephrase, for the camera? Rephrase the all right, question. All right, well, you, you, you are a comedian. Thank you so much. You tell me a joke for the camera? I don't tell jokes for the camera. I only tell them for live audience. No, this is a lovely... Is this for the E! Network? Yes. I get that on channel 68 of my cable system. Great. Unfortunately, my cable system only has 66 channels. Oh, I got gotcha. you. There you go. So I don't want to waste the time. All right. <laughs> Take care. You have a nice night. And you. Good to see you. Take care. Wow, he was happy. Yeah. First guy ever happy to see you. He would have stayed there and talked to John for hours. Yeah. I'm not as happy as the next guy. Up. Who's the next guy, Burt Young? Yeah. Oh, you know Burt Young is. Burt Young from the Rocky movie? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Although I don't know who he is. I oh, say so you legitimately no, ask him I, who he is. No, I ask him who he is because that's what you want me to do. Yeah, <laughs> you know who he was though, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 He's the guy who plays Rocky's brother-in-law or something. Yeah. Oh, he's drunk and pissed off. Yeah, and he was in uh, Caddyshack, where he no, he was in Back to School where he played Rodney yeah. Dangerfield's driver, Burt Young. Hi. Can I ask you a question for WXRK Radio? Sure. So who are you now? Say your name. Who am I? Yeah. Uh, Bert Young. Oh, Bert Young? And you're... What do you do? I'm a... I'm a songwriter. I'm <laughs> getting <laughs> Is he pissed off? Yeah, you gotta remember, he's sitting down eating. Yeah. You know, across, across from a young girl. <laughs> yeah. And I'm asking him who he is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's the best scenario. Oh. That's the worst time to do that to a guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's eating. He's yeah. got a young girl he's across from him. He's probably feeling pretty. This is ruins the digestion. Yeah. <laughs> With you? Yeah. So you're a songwriter? Yeah. No, really, honestly. Yeah. Would I know your songs? Uh, they're not that popular. They're not in the top ten, but uh, they're coming up. Somebody said you were an actor. Is that? No. no all right. Who me a Do you look like the guy in uh, Rocky? Oh, check your list. What's that? Check your list. <laughs> Yes, my man. You're a nice guy. Let me just ask a couple questions and, and I'll leave you alone. You Burt Young? Okay. Um, if you were a rich movie star, would you jump over stuff on a horse? I'd probably jump in it. <laughs> you know, like Christopher uh, Reeves did. Did you hear about that? Yeah, that's awful. It's insane, right? He's a nice guy. He's, it's an awful thing. Nice man. Yeah. Let me ask you, has, has Woody Allen lost his mind? <laughs> This is a funny interview, huh? I'm getting tired. Yeah. yeah. All right, Bert. Thanks a lot. Okay, Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Good old Bert. <laughs> he scares me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When he gets tired of something, you yeah. move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good way to put it. I'll I'm be honest. I'm tired of this. I think I'm sick of you and sick of everything that I just heard. I'm yeah. sick of you. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. In about five seconds, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get up. I'm going to stab you with my fork. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drive my fork through your head. <laughs> so you better get out of my face. I'm really sick of you. First, you don't know who I am. Then you ask me about Superman. And now you ask me about this. What did you say this mean? <laughs> Stupid ass. Stupid freaking ass. I bust my balls. I don't need you. <laughs> Look at the list here. Lainey Kazam? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who is Lainey Kazam? She's another one of those character actresses and singers that you see mm. around in different movies. She's supposed to be real famous, but, you know, that's what I hear. Yeah, I know her. I mean, like, I know her name. And She's stuff. always singer. playing somebody's mother. Yeah. I think I used movie. to be really horny for her when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, She's a sex she used symbol. to look really, really more, good. Though. Was she naked in Playboy once? Like I Barbara think, McNair or something? I think she might have been, yeah. Yeah. I used to get real horny for her. I remember I saw her on Mike Douglas because that's where I watched TV. Right. She used to do Mike Douglas and Merv Griffin all the yeah, time. Yeah. And I remember I uh, pleasured myself at night to her. She used to do like those photographs in, in bikinis or yeah. bathing suits. She was real hot. And didn't she also do Ode to Billy Joe? No, no, no that's uh, somebody else. Yeah, but she looks like her. Yeah. So they're like the same person. But I guess she's gotten like a lot bigger. And Doug, for me, was telling me that. When you watch this, that the sweat is just pouring out of her body. Well, remember that movie, My Favorite Year? Yeah. She played the mom. <laughs> she plays the Great. mom of people that she's younger than. Right. Hi. Hi. Hi, can we ask you a question for WXRK Radio? Yeah. So who are you now? I'm Lainey Kazan. And what do you do that makes you famous? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 she ain't laughing. She ain't laughing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what do you do that makes you famous? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a high school interview. <laughs> See, this is a perfect crowd to do it to. <laughs> you know, they, 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 they don't want to hear that. Why are you now? I'm Lainey Kazan. And what do you do that makes you famous? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most annoying question in the world. Hi. How are you? William Pond. Hello. I know. I've met you many times. Lainey? What is yes. It? What is it that, you know... Uh, what do I do? Yeah. Shame on you. Come on. No, I'm, I'm a singer and an actress. Oh, yeah? What have you been in? You know, what movies? Beaches, 29th oh, yeah. Street. Oh, you were in Beaches? Uh, Harry and the Hendersons, The One from the Heart. Oh, at what point did Delta you Delta Force. I was Beth's mother. Oh, how are you? Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I'm a singer as well. Oh, very, very good. Very, you want to sing a little something? For the I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. Sing me something. Sing me a little something now that you say you're a singer. Let me hear you do something. Sing Ode to Billy Joe. <laughs> Jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. <laughs> come on, come on. If you were, if you were a rich movie star, would you jump over? Why don't you? We gave you about twenty seven yeah, generics, and you just keep asking the same so, stupid one. Well, no, I, 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 I uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every, it, that's the first question on the list. There's thirty seven no, other questions. No, there's seven of them. Stop on a horse. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever. Well, you know, we heard about Christopher Reeve. Yeah, I wouldn't jump over a horse if I'm a rich movie star, or I'm a poor movie star, or I'm a poor person. Yeah. I don't. Uh, don't at this point, I, mean, I love horses, and I ride, and I owned a horse at one time. But at this point in my life, I would not be jumping over horses. And my heart felt sympathy to uh, Christopher Reeve. I yeah. hope he's well, and I, I hope know. he feels so, better, so and I life. love him. It's sad, right? It's terrible. Let me ask you, what are the odds that John Travolta will be in another decent movie? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, oh. gonna, I'm hot and tired. Oh, oh, I'm hot and tired and i got to get some rest. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. And I just want to wish Paul Sorvino a lot of luck. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, lady. Take care, lady. Thank you very much. Thank you, lady. Wow. Yeah. Oh. This needs to be the exit line. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh. Interview over. Yeah. Is it a funny I, interview? It, it, what are the odds of John Travolta being in another good movie? I, I'd say zero. Yeah. Well, you know, you counted him out after Saturday Night Live, and then there was Pulp Fiction. So. Saturday Night Fever. Or whatever it was. 20 years. <laughs> yeah. So another 20 years, he'll have another hit. Okay. He was coming. <laughs>
You want to hear from Ed Begley Jr.? Boy, this is some list. Why do you ask Ed Begley Jr.? We actually had questions for him. You went from Mario Cuomo to Ed Begley Jr. <laughs> Ed Begley Jr. is that really albino-looking dude from St. Elsewhere. Yeah. Who was engaged to Amy Lynn. Mm -hmm. That's for about all minute. I know. For, for a, a minute. minute. Ed, Ed, can we ask you a question, please? Sure. For WXRK. How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> Do people have a confusion with which Johnny went to? <sighs> no, they don't. Ooh. 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 Do you ever marry or just continue to use women like toilet paper? Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. And you wanted to skip over I didn't think you'd ask him. <laughs> Will you marry or continue to use women as toilet paper? Yeah. Right. Ooh, mm -hmm. I gotta hear the answer. I'm tired. I'm hot. Did they ever confuse you for stuttering, John? Yeah, how you doing, Ed? Good, how you doing? Good, man. Let me ask you, why yes. was your father so mean to you? That was on screen. Off screen, he was a pussycat. Really? I have a really good question. Now that St. Elsewhere is off the air, have your groupies gone elsewhere? <laughs> <laughs> elsewhere? That's very good. No, I don't. I never had groupies. Oh, come on, Amy Lynn, Ed. Come on. Amy Lynn? Yeah. How was she, anyway? <laughs> Amy Lynn's a lovely lady. It was very platonic, of course, with she and Oh, yeah, come on, Ed. We heard you're Lovely. a stud. No, this lucky bastard gets to go out with penthouse pets. I know. Yeah, I think he was with Annette Benning for a while before yeah. she hopped on to Warren Beatty. He's not a good-looking guy at all. No, nah, I'm better looking than him, and I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm better looking than him, you're right? A better looking ugly guy than him. Right. <laughs> is what you're saying. On a scale of one to ten, he's a two, and I'm a three. <laughs> yeah. Finally, somebody I'm better looking than. I'm better looking than him, right? He's been in the movie, so yeah. why can't you? Oh, that's what I keep saying. <laughs> no, no, that's the other Ed Begley. That was my father. She's a lovely lady. Don't you think anal sex should be legalized everywhere? Hello. <laughs> Howard, my best. All right, Ed. Hey, thanks, Juan. Oh, You're a good man. Hysterical. Take it in. Is Ed Begley Hello. checking in? Hello. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is all going on at Paul Sorvino's new restaurant. So then you interview Paul Sorvino, yeah. and he's a gentleman to you. And then he turns. when you go to interview Jerry Lewis, he gets mean to you? Yeah, he changes. And he tells you it's time to go. You want to hear that? Yes. All right, let me take a break and we'll hear Ooh. that. Boy, that Ed Begley, right out of the box. Boom, you hit him with a question. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I like that who are you question. Yeah. It really drives people nuts because they're all self-important. I'm Lainey Kazan. Oh, you are? What makes you so famous? What did you do? I'm a singer and an actress. Oh, oh, really? Well, what have you done that maybe I would be familiar with? <laughs> Great. Well, I was in, uh, you know, Poseidon Adventure or something. I don't know. Oh, I didn't see that. Would you play? Oh, would, yeah. That's one of my favorite movies. Would you play? Yeah, I don't remember you. You think that wrecks their whole life? Yeah, that does. That you could, you that that kills them. You don't just. Yeah, th these people have built a, l a lifetime of convincing themselves that they're somebody. It's like, if you have questions for somebody, I don't even want to ask them that because I know that'll piss them off enough they want to talk to me anymore. Yeah, but it's it's great to hear. I love it. I mean, I thought it was great. Yes, Governor Cuomo, who he is, and, and he, you caught him off guard, and he goes, he's Senator D'Amato, and he puts up candidates against incumbents. <laughs> That's great. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back well, right after. Is he saying it. people in office shouldn't have people running against them? I think this is what he's saying. How dare Senator D'Amato put up a candidate? All right, we'll take a break, and we'll be back right after this. We'll return to the Howard Stern Show after these messages. 97.1. The Eagle. 740 at the Eagle. This is Brad Baxter. Eagle. Thank goodness. It's 745 at 97.1 The Eagle. Call Howard on the Eagle's toll-free line. 1-800-54-STERN. Let's return to the Howard Stern Show. Alright, let me finish this up with Stuttering John because i got a lot of other things to get to. Uh, so Stuttering John went out last night if you're just joining us. He interviewed a whole bunch of people including Governor Mario Cuomo and then a um, you know, he was at Paul Sorvino's new restaurant, and uh, finally Paul Sorvino, the actor, comes over to him and is very friendly. And then when Jerry Lewis shows up, Paul Sorvino gets vicious about it, mm. <laughs> and they throw you out. Yeah. But hey, you know, Paul ought to relax, because we're the only ones talking about yeah, his restaurant. You know, we were invited there, and still even when we were invited, we managed to dethrone well, it. Well, look what your people are all pissed off at you. <laughs> 
<laughs> you abused people. It was a people. happy gathering yeah. when you got there. You went to every table and upset people. Yeah, I mean, people were walking away from you <laughs> just because you didn't know who they were. You know what's funny, Howard? What? We try getting Tina. Nice one. Thank you. Oh, nice. We try getting Tina Louise. Yeah. Him the Tina pin. Louise. She killed against violence. Violent. And we went up to it and we turned on the light and she would look like a deer in the headlights. Yeah. And she was like, no, the light's too bright and walked away. She's yeah. like a recluse and she doesn't want people to see her looking ugly and stuff. I, I don't blame her. She was just on Roseanne. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is she, how does she look? I mean, did she age real? Well, she she's an old woman. She aged, man. You know, what are you going to do? You know? I used to love her. I used man. to. I, that's one of the first girls. You yeah. Know? She's one of uh, three celebrities from old sitcoms that have hung up on me because of you. Really? You know, I asked her to come on the show about eight years ago, and she hung up on me. Just hung up? She just said, I, she, was, she said something like, I'm outraged that you would even ask me about that. Really? She just hung up on me. Wow. The other and two, the man was Howard Stern. Right. You uh, sure? Yeah. <laughs> the, the <laughs> Could other, have been somebody else. You wonder who the other two that hung up on That's me? That's great, isn't it? My name, <laughs> I mean, look at me. Look at what kind of career I have. People just hang up. I mean, Woody Allen could call or Michael Jackson. They, they would talk. on the phone. You know who the other two were? Yeah. Uh, Spanky. Yeah, Spanky hated Spanky me. Spanky hung up. He was freaked out by Yeah, well, he's dead now. Yeah, and he's uh, no longer with us. Yeah. Uh, hey, I outlived him. <laughs> and uh, Mr. B from Hazel. Mr. B from Hazel? His was the best story because I booked him for whatever happened to. Yeah. And he was all excited about it. And then he called me back when he realized who you were and yelled at me for booking him. Don DeFour or something? Yes, Don DeFour. <laughs> Don DeFour? He yelled at me. He goes, how, he goes, how dare you even ask me to be on a show like that? Really? Yeah. <laughs> he was he mad hung, at you for and asking. And he hung up. Wow. Uh, the Mr. B, damn it. I love that. And Tina Louise was mad. Yep. She was real upset that I would want her on this show. Yeah, who would want, who would want her on any show? Don't you know no one's wanted me on any show? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put me on a show? I was shocked that she did the Roseanne thing because it was a Gilligan's Island reunion oh, yeah. they were doing. And, you know, she even yeah, she doesn't want refuses that. to do that. Well, she didn't want to get stereotyped. <laughs> <laughs> typecast. Yeah. Typecast, right. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Typecast. Yeah. 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 Typecast. yeah. yeah. Let me hear you with Paul Servino. Paul, can I ask you a question? Yes, yes. Wait a minute, Mike. This is for WXRK Radio. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Congratulations on your restaurant. Thank you. Let me ask you, um, is, is it true you quit your TV show to sing opera? Uh, actually, it's one of the reasons I quit, but the main reason I quit is because uh, working in New York in the cold would eventually destroy the voice. If yeah. you talk too much, you will destroy the voice. So I did it for that, but I did it also because there was not enough creative input for you, Barbara Walters. <laughs> uh, I mean, a long answer. I didn't even know that there was this long an answer to that question. Yeah. Dude, let's... Hey, man. Talking to too much will destroy the voice. Be quiet, Paul. You're supposed to piss the guy off. Uh, for me in the show. And uh, a number of reasons, you know. But I am acting. I'm doing Nixon. You know, I'm doing the movie Nixon. I'm doing Kissinger and that. So yeah. it's not that I'm... Uh, it's not that I've given you up. Like this, Jackie. Uh, you do the accent. Well, I could, but I don't think I will at the moment. Oh, great, man! <laughs> hey, not bad. Who do you think of Howard Stern? What do I think of Howard Stern? Yeah. He should get a haircut. No, honestly, <laughs> you like him, Paul? Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, cool. Really? Let's hey, what the hell's that all about? I don't know. Because last time I interviewed him, like three years ago, he was he like hated me. He hated you, but he liked me. Uh, <laughs> I think we met him once on the street with yeah. Steve Rothy. Yeah, we hugged like two goombas. <laughs> <laughs> we hugged. We hugged in the middle he of the street. So, he is so Italian. You know, I, I, you know, Paul Servino's real Italian, so is Steve Rossi. <laughs> and I'm walking with Steve Rossi, and all of a sudden the two of them meet, and they start like almost making out in the middle of the street, <laughs> like hugging each other and stuff. Like two two old Italian bocce players, <laughs> and they start hugging. And then all of a sudden, they look at me like, "You want a hug?" Yeah, you got to give them. A <laughs> I said, "Okay." And those guys, and they're big men, yeah. and they sweep you up in their arms, so you feel like a girl. So I've actually almost, I've, I You've think, almost I, kissed him. <laughs> I, I think I've gone to second base with him. I might have had my hand on his nipple. <laughs> You know, it's funny, because right, right in the middle of the restaurant, he tells everyone to shut up. All the celebrities, everyone, be quiet, shut up. And then he sings opera for like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got to get paid for that. All right. That's a real Italian. Wow. Maybe he should talk some more. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Opera's one of those things I know I can do. <laughs> can you give me a little piano music? You can't do it like Pavarotti, but you can do it like Paul Gervino. <laughs> No, 
Yeah, I love to work in Goodfellas. And Thank you. Alone, all right. Thank you. Take care, man. Okay, guys. Hey, Paul, you remember? All right, so, so I leave yeah. him alone, and I go, you know what? I didn't ask him anything off call. Let, 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 let me go back and talk to hey, him. What again. is that? Yeah. yeah, he's getting the wrong impression. Yeah, he's <laughs> actually digging you. <laughs> yeah, what kind of interview is that? <laughs> hey, you know, that was good for Live at Five. <laughs> hey, Paul, you remember uh, We'll Get By? I do. I used to watch it didn't that get show. by. No, it didn't. It didn't live up to its name. Yeah, yeah, no, I was. I, it's just so weird because you know, whenever I ask, you know, people, nobody knows it. You know, it almost it. made it. It was a beautiful show, but it was up against. Sounds to me like you guys are still hitting it yeah, off. You're still yeah, you're still bonding. Yeah, yeah, because that's why it's funny that he, you know, the like, guy turned into a dick afterwards. You know? <laughs> so you guys were getting along. Yeah. Number one show on television, <laughs> Chico and the Man. Oh. so we almost made it, but didn't have a chance. Poor little and, thing. But then, but like, then what happened? You did that, and then I then I didn't see it. Until then good I did fellas. movies, and I did lots of movies, and I did opera, and I did uh, I did between those spaces, I did about fifteen twenty movies. And I did uh, television movies and specials and sang and I've been, you know, write. I do all kinds of different things. I surface, I go on, I surface, you know. I heard you singing in there. It sounded really good. Thank you. Let me ask you one of this question, all right? If you were a rich movie star, would you jump over stuff on a horse? Would I jump what? Over stuff on I a horse. I feel very bad about that. Unbelievable. I feel very, very bad. I know him. I know him. We've had dinner together. I feel terrible. I hope that... He's not permanently injured. This is a very sad... How come all actors are having dinner together and I'm not having dinner with anyone? Well, this is what I'm telling you. There's a club that we're not in. Me, I'm eating by myself right here. We're never at dinner. You wouldn't, man. What? You wouldn't eat dinner. Sure I would. I had Chuck Norris over my house. <laughs> with Joe Piscopo. Well, they all you know, got to go to your house. Chuck is never at these dinners either. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine my power dinner. <laughs> Chuck Norris and, and Joe, Joe Piscopo. Piscopo. And where is Joe Piscopo? I don't know. How does he make a living? Where is he? He's got some hot girlfriend, though, boy. That's what he's doing. Yeah. What is he just managing her career now? Yeah, I think pretty much. <laughs> we haven't heard from him in ages. No, so, I don't so know. So is this mostly like more of you and Paul Servino hitting it off? I ask him, but I ask him all the generic time for all of us who know him. He's a beautiful person, a talented person, and it's, this is a tragedy. Yeah. God hope, God grant that he that he makes a recovery. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, OJ, innocent or guilty? You don't want to come on? No, I'm just curious. Come on, what do you think? I say guilty, but you know, a lot of actors don't want to say it. I'm not on the jury. Uh -oh. uh, and I have not been uh, privy to all of the evidence, but it sure uh, doesn't look good. Right, okay. it doesn't. I heard, I heard, I heard, you know, I, I heard Effie, Effie Bailey was going to be here tonight. I don't know. I didn't see him. I don't know. It could be. Everybody else was here. I know. Ah, great time. Hey, great time. Thank you. Well, let me ask you, do you think it's right that Seinfeld is dating 17-year-olds? I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a couple more minutes. You can ask me all the See, everyone's afraid to comment on that. I think he's been in a Woody Allen film, hasn't he? For Paul Servino, yeah. Yeah. You want? I, I know all about you. Go ahead. Okay. Has has Woody Allen lost his mind? No, Woody Allen is a great talent. I know, but with you know Sun Yi and all that, you know, I don't. I'm not part of his personal life. But he's a great oh. talent and a great director, right. a great writer. All right. Wait, why don't people say nice stuff about me? Yes. Yeah, I haven't got dated my wife's you daughter. You haven't done anything, but they all hate you. Yeah. <laughs> and they what did are I do? Willing to say it. You have a great lifestyle, but you bad, you know, like you bad mouth them. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, what are the odds that John Travolta will be in another decent movie? <laughs> so even he hey, knows. We don't have a chance. We don't have any say in that. The script comes along. We have to go work. We see what happens. The actor is the least powerful person when it comes to making the quality of the movie stand up. Yeah. The actor tries. He said, okay, this is a decent script. Out of the script I'm offered this year, this is a good thing. He's a good spokesperson for, uh... Okay, no. Can't throw. can't throw him. Bad movies. <laughs> I thought the next one would throw him. But... All right, I'll do it. But there's so many other things that have to do with it. He's been in a he's been in a number of very good movies. Yeah. So he will. No, I think now he's on another upswing. He'll do good. Yeah. Well, let me ask you. Um. Uh. Shouldn't anal sex be legal everywhere? Absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. Turn around. <laughs> I can't. Turn around. I can't stop. <laughs> no. See, he's having a good time. Yeah, I can't he's... believe he turns on. You. Yeah. He turns on you. See, this Jerry. Now, why does he think Jerry can't handle this as well? <laughs> because Jerry can't handle. Hair. <laughs> well, all right, all right, let me ask you the, the, one more. I'm sorry, I want to see what you could ask me that I can't answer. All right, won't it? Do we really need another restaurant in Manhattan? Oh, no. God, no. <laughs> Who else, whose place is this, anyway? How annoying. Paul, thanks a lot. I'm a big fan. You're a Thank great you. actor. Thank I, you I appreciate very much. it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. Okay, take all it. All right, so he handled it. Yeah. What went wrong? Everything's fine. Now, who's this? Peter Max? Who's that, the guy who draws? 
Yeah. The painter. The painting guy. Oh, what is going on oh, now? Oh, that's Paul Savino. That, th this is when I'm trying to talk to Jerry. Oh, and you want to let your new Jerry? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, th this, is, th this is the whole. Uh... Too bad. You almost had a friend. Oh, man. I would have loved to heard you with Jerry. I know. You, you had would've... great questions for him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had really good questions for him. Does his head slide off the pillow at night? <laughs> what else was there for Jerry? Jerry walked in hard with these, like, little shorts like you know like you know Richard Simmons shorts yeah with a t-shirt down with little bony legs yeah look, look, look bizarre yeah did he look more bizarre than Tony Curtis <laughs> I doubt it let me just talk to Jerry. Let him go much too much now. We got enough. Jerry, uh, Jerry wants to relax. Two shows. It's enough. Can we just ask him. Guys, guys, guys. It's enough for tonight. Please. So just ask. Be kind to me. I'll be kind to you. It's enough tonight. Okay. Really, it is. I've been good to you. No, I know, I know, but I just want to talk to Jerry. Not tonight. Jerry, can I ask you one question? Not tonight. Not tonight. Right. I'm telling you. Thank you very much. Okay. Please. Thank you. You gotta credit John with his persistence. <laughs> I'm shocked that he... And you try, you try again, right? Uh, no, because then... Because, oh, is that it? Uh, because then Paul comes out and, 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 and removes us from the bar. From he the, does? Uh, yeah, from the restaurant. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Guys? Peter Max. WXRK Radio. How you doing? Hi, so who are you now? I'm Peter Max. Peter Max, Paul's oldest friend. And what do you do that makes you famous? What makes me famous? Yeah. I draw pictures of guys like you. Oh, yeah? You're an artist? Yeah. Oh, great. Congratulations. Can I ask you a couple of questions? <laughs> if you were a rich movie star, would you jump over stuff on a horse? No. Has Woody Allen lost his mind? No. You don't want to talk much, huh? No. Okay. What are the odds that John Travolta will be in another decent movie? Big. Great odds. Great. It's going to happen. Shouldn't anal sex be legal everywhere? <laughs> no. No. That's the end for me. Oh. <laughs> no. Bye-bye, Peter. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Got it. I see. I can do the whole Peter Max. No. 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 Big. <laughs> no. Big no. Anal sex? No. no. <laughs> All right, well, John, it seems like you had another stress-filled night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you, you do it? You, it, 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 you got to see, sweat's like pouring down my face. Yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty uncomfortable. You've just managed to irritate just about everybody. Even the guy that liked you. Even the guy that liked you hated you by the end of the night. <laughs> well, good for you. Thanks. Another, uh, another jam-packed night. Of celebrity and fun, and uh, congratulations to Paul Sarvino and his restaurant. Yes, uh, kick off to a new restaurant in Manhattan. There you go. But uh, you, you have an open invitation, Howard. Whatever you want to eat there. Thank you. It's Thank you. Great. There you go. Now after that, uh, I wouldn't. Yeah, want the food. I'm sure Paul Sarvino wants me in his restaurant. <laughs> All right, very good. We'll uh, take a break, and we'll be back with a lot more right after these words. I, I went bike riding and worked out with weights yesterday, and I don't know what what I'm really working toward here because even if I look good, what good is it? And you know what? My body never changes anyway. I worked out with weights. I went bike riding. It still looked like a you horse's ass. You said 21 ass. miles. Where is this time coming from? I don't know. I just I, It doesn't take me that long. I zip. So how long does 21 miles take? Hour and a half. <laughs> and then you go and work out with weights? Yeah, for about a half hour. That's two hours. Yeah, I tried to get out there yesterday, and now I'm, like, wasted. My wife's even got the fitness bug, which I'm real happy about. But yesterday she calls me up. Uh -huh. She was going to go to the track and run. Now she runs, which yeah. is great because I want her ass to tighten up and her thighs and everything. Because, you know, she's had three kids. What's your excuse? And I'm used to seeing strippers, you know what I mean? <laughs> what is your excuse? Oh, I on. looked at your droopy butt yesterday. Yeah, well. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, like, and I look at strippers all day. So you got to admit, I'm pretty, I'm pretty... No, you should stop. That's what you should do. I know. I mean, there was a girl in here yesterday, the Ivy League stripper, who had a perfectly heart-shaped ass. Oh, my God. I was like, I, I said to Ralph, how does a girl get an ass like that? He goes, it's, it's genetics. You had so, to ask Ralph. Yeah. God-given ass. God-given ass. Yes. So, I, I, you know, I I look at that all day, and i got to go home and look at my wife and, you know, get worked up. So I, I like that she's running, and she's starting to really get nice, nice and slim, and people are complimenting her. Then she calls me up. She's into this for about two weeks, this running. Uh-huh. And she calls me up yesterday. Oh, I have shin splints. I can't run anymore. I go, Allison, get out there and run. <laughs> Ignore it. You don't have any shin splints. You couldn't possibly. She hardly runs. She, does, she doesn't even do a mile. And she's got shin, shin splints. Shin splints, yeah. 
The two of you athletes are incredible. I said, how could you possibly have a shin splint? There are people who run 20 miles a day, they don't have shin splints. I can understand if she, you know, ran 20 miles. I said, just ignore it and get out there. There's nothing wrong with your legs. Your yeah, can you imagine shin splints? Shin splints come from years. Constant pounding. Oh, pounding. <laughs> and you, you don't believe she's running that hard, huh? Robin, she does, she does a 12-minute mile. She just finally worked up to a 12-minute mile. <laughs> now, would you explain That's to That's almost walking. You can walk faster than that, can't you? <laughs> you can crawl faster than that. Because she always says, I always say that to her. She goes, guess what? I worked up to a 12-minute mile. And I go, Allison, you can walk faster than that. And she goes, you don't encourage me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had a fitness test when I was in the military. Yeah. And we had to do a mile in 14 minutes, and we walked it. Yeah, you walked. I mean, you could take a stroll in 12 minutes. <laughs> you could stop for lunch and still finish a 12-minute mile. Christopher Reeves. Oh, dear. Is faster now, now, now you're going than that. <laughs> I said, I'm like, you know, I go, Allison. A 12-minute mile you're crowing about? Because <laughs> you don't give me encouragement. You're not nice. You're not blah, blah, blah. And how long has she been running now? Two weeks, three weeks. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought this had been for a while. Well, no, no. she worked up to the 12-minute miles. She's been doing 14 and 15-minute miles. <laughs> and then she said that she's blowing people off the track. <laughs> she stopped and had a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you're kidding me. I said, you know what you need to do? You need to run with some other people who are a little more motivated because... You're not pushing Is yourself. Is she going out by herself? Yeah, a lot of times herself, yeah. She's no flow, Joe. <laughs> so then she calls me from the car yesterday to tell me that a terrible disaster has happened and, and that she has shin splints. <laughs> and how did she discover that she diagnosed herself? Yeah. I said, you know what it is? You're starting to move your body a little bit. Your legs ache a little. That's all. That's she all that is. muscle pain of stretching her muscles. Yeah. That's all. But and she's got shin splints yeah. according to her. Yeah. And she must quit. She doesn't even know it. She, yeah, she's already stopping. She has to take a few weeks off. This is a woman who's getting, she, she's getting lapped by a guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> He's out lapping her. Hey, Better call her. There's a lady in, with a walker. <laughs> yeah. And whenever I say that a 12-minute mile is worthless, that that's like no aerobic activity whatsoever. <laughs> well, it may be for her, depending yeah. on how out of shape she oh, is. Oh, man. But I mean, I mean, 12-minute 12 12 mile. It actually slows down. Yeah, because she goes, she says to me, Oh, my heart rate was up to 120. And I go, Allison, your range should be 150 to 160. Oh. Not really 150 to 160. Well, I want to send quick. <laughs> Walt Disney's heart rate is higher. <laughs> and he's on ice somewhere in the ocean. Is that my wife? Oh, good. Uh-oh. hope she's not mad. I mean, hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. Howard, this is it. Oh. I'm not even talking to you anymore. <laughs> now, you can't possibly have shin splints. Howard, I'm not talking to you oh, anymore. Oh, stop being, your, stop taking yourself so seriously. Yeah, well, stop saying every little, you know. You, oh, every little you thing. You can your shin splints? Oh, come on. No, Don't I get so can't, sensitive. He makes fun of me, and I'm sick of it. Oh. <laughs> no, I really Oh, you're so sensitive. I am. Yeah. No, <laughs> seriously. By the time you realize. I'm, I'm just good. trying to motivate you. You don't. No, it's not motivating. Wait, I have your music for you. The Olympic music. <laughs> dun, 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 That's not motivating. Dun, 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 you haven't even noticed. What? You haven't even noticed that I've stopped talking to you. Oh, you stopped yeah. talking. She comes home yesterday yeah. and she says to me, "You haven't noticed that I stopped talking to you." And I go, <laughs> "I go, I like it." <laughs> Good. When did you stop talking, Allison? Several weeks ago, I learned my lesson. You did After not. Book party, we love talking to each other. After your book party, I get in the car and he goes, "So," and I go, "Nothing." Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought life. you were rewarding me. <laughs> no, I'm rewarding myself. Oh, you. stop it. You <laughs> love me. Don't say me. that. V West comes up to me and she goes, Alison, I'm not even going to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, but you're lucky. Who wants to talk to her? Well, absolutely, but still. <laughs> <laughs> In general. <laughs> you love talking to me. It's your favorite activity. It was. Yeah. It was my favorite. No, but she, you, no, you, you couldn't. I was just saying to Robin. Robin did I'm some running. You can't every... possibly have shin splints. You I... can't. You can't. Al, you don't run enough. Well, I hope I don't. It was, it was you don't. Me. It's, it's, it's just the muscles in your legs are being used for the first time in years. Well, how come at the beginning it didn't, it, nothing hurt? You weren't using it. You weren't though. using it. You were walking. <laughs> well, a, that's the excitement I of running. Your legs, are, your legs are starting to actually get muscular. And there's got to be a little bit of, you know, a sort of discomfort. You know, uh, I hope that's what it is. 
No pain, no gain? Yeah. Okay. No, because, because she's convinced she has sinus splints. And when I say she doesn't, she gets all mad at me no, like Howard, this. Why are you mad at me? I'm trying to tell you that this whole... You're the whole conversation. I called you and no. said... You run... What is your mile? You do a mile in what? 12 minutes? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And even Jackie said, a guy in a wheelchair can do a mile in 12 minutes. <laughs> so, I t so, so don't be upset with me. I'm just try I, I like that you're running. Howard. I'm you're trying to encourage you. You're whole conversation. What, what conversation? Said, yeah. You said a terrible thing has happened. I said, my, it hurts me to run. What am I You said, do? I have shin splints. I think Where I Where did she even learn the term? No, because she read them in a book. I had it before. Yeah. She, it, I'm telling you, you, don't, you know what you get shin splints from? People who run 5 to 10 to 15 miles a day every day on hard pavement. Tumblers. After like, yeah, after like five years of running. All right, so maybe I don't have it. Of course not. Believe me, I would love not to have it. But you're making up, I'm not running I, anymore. You cannot possibly, She all she's been doing for two weeks is she, what do you do? Tell Robin, you walk for what, two minutes? Uh, you know, Howard. No, oh, come on. You. Oh, oh, oh. You know to make fun of me now? Oh, 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 I'm not making fun of you. I, I'm... I love you so much. Uh, well. I love talking about you. <laughs> You're my life. Two minutes. Wait, it's two minutes of walking. And four minutes of running. And then. <laughs> and this is how you guys. <laughs> no, no, no. But that you do that about six times. Yeah. yeah. And then you do what? That's it. That's it. It's like a 36 minute thing. Uh huh. But what's the next increment up? What, whatever I, I mean, I actually modified the whole thing because there was no. Right away, she's an expert. She modified. It. <laughs> I, I'm doing my own thing. She now. hasn't even sweated yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. And I like, I like that she's doing it. Sweat. All right, I had enough of your. <laughs> you know, if you have shin, if you have shin splints, you probably got them from running to your nail appointment to your foot massage appointment. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the life. But when she called me Shinsmith, I said, there's no way you she could have Shinsmith. You know what? I am. This is it. You're not having any more conversations. Oh, stop how, it. How did she get to the track? She she drives the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I I tell you. No, I don't like hard pavement, so I like the no. track. Okay. Okay. But she... Uh, Mom, did you ever have Shinsmith? Uh, no. Of course not. <laughs> and I used to run five miles a day. I know, I know. Of course you didn't. And Allison hasn't even begun running yet. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Howard. I know, you're mad at me. Who asked you? Because, you know what, you do ask me. I don't. I Remember when you came home, you told me your heart rate was up to like 105? <laughs> and I said to you, Allison, no offense, no, your I, heart rate should be like 130 to 150. I said it was up to 150, and then it was at 120. Oh, okay. All right, take it easy, dog. You don't even listen. You don't even, you know what? Oh, I don't listen. I listen to everything you say, then you get mad at me for repeating it. Well, don't repeat it. Well, that's absurd. I'm going to repeat it. Well, then I'm not talking to you. But you talk to me anyway. Well, I'm not going to talk to you about anything that means anything to me. Okay. That's, uh, by the way, I don't care. Fine. I don't, I've yet to hear something meaningful. <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> meaningful to me. Oh, to you? Yes. Yeah, so talk to your friends, that's all. Oh, my God. I, I believe me, that'll give me more free time. Good. good. If I have to sit and listen to your problems, <laughs> I'll be busy all day. <laughs> you always got something going on. Oh God! Oh, I like the new you. I like I like the fact that you run and you don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. I love you so frigging much. Not right. Very nice. Well, you could think what you want. <laughs> no, I'm going to talk to you. Good. About my problems. Well, but on my radio show... Uh, you love me. Tell everyone in the audience how you love me. I do love you. Of course. There's certain... You've got a great life for me. <laughs> certain... I'm, the, I'm the life spring of your life. <laughs> I am your life. Remember oh. that. I'm the rib. You are the rib. You are the, the bone. You're... <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm busy myself. I think I got shin splints. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that this happens to beginning runners. Yeah, but it's not shin splints. It's just like it's the aches and pains of like starting to use your body that hasn't right, been, well, you know, that would be great. It's been that's laying in bed doing nothing for years. If that's what it is. That lays around and gets massaged oh, and gets nails done oh. and doesn't have to lift a finger because there's so much help around. So now your body's freaking out, that's all. <laughs> you, you are in such an ozone. Do you want me to go to scores today and ask the girls how they get in shape? Because <laughs> I will, I'll find out. I'll find out if they have had shins. Maybe you know can run with them. Yeah, well, I, I, I have never I can get you running with some of the scores girls. <laughs> I've never talked to you again. Oh, you man. You managed to turn me off more and more. Right, right, right. You've just been programmed by your mother. My mother? Yeah, you talk, I know you talk about me. I know all night her and her mother get on the phone around 10 o'clock at night and they have a little gab fest about and me. And it's all about you. About how I'm a bad husband, oh, about how I don't... You're not doing what you're supposed yeah. to do. You know, Ma, can I confide in you? <laughs> 
I know what goes on. She no, thinks I'm an idiot. I talked to your mother. That's about why your mother's running around the house telling me how great you are. Every I talked to your mother about. You. Yeah, good. Tell my mother. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> she knows plenty. She doesn't know a thing. We commiserate. My father's the most miserable man on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> and you, if you're getting advice from her, you're in big trouble oh, with your you marriage. Stop it. Which is, you think I'm unhappy with you? I think you're, you're terrific. No, I know you get on the phone to your mother at 10 o'clock at night, and they enter it up because I see the bills. I, it's like a two-hour phone call. When do you possibly... And it's a two-hour bitch fest about you, me. When do you ever see a bill? Oh, I, don't worry about it. I check everything. Oh, you don't even know what I'm up he to. He doesn't ever see a bill. I'm like Topsy. Forget about it. <laughs> he doesn't ever. Yeah. And I know what goes on with you and your mother. That's why your mother runs around the whole time. This weekend, her mother's like this. Howard, I've never seen Allison look better or behave better. Or, I mean, she gets more and more beautiful as time goes on. I go, what are you, a saleswoman? I already bought the goods. That's right. Stop. That car belongs to me. Yeah, I bought the car. You don't have to keep saying, who are you, Wayne Siegel? Oh, I, 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 I did it. What are you, what are you a pimp? I bought it. Oh, Lock, stock, and barrel I'm in. Don't oversell. Yeah, I got three kids with this woman. You don't have to say, I said, why don't you sell your other children? I know what goes on because the other children don't bitch about their mates. I do. I oh, never. you tell you must you must fill your mother's head no, with all kinds no. of things about You're me. You're getting paranoid. Oh, I know. You're getting. He paranoid. doesn't listen the way he used to. He doesn't this. He doesn't that. Ba 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 ba. I tell him I have shin you splints. You listen too much. Yeah. That's why I'm not talking to you anymore. And you don't have shin splints. I want you out there running two, three times a day. I would like. <laughs> I want to make sure I don't have. Them. I love when you run. Oh, How I are you going your... to make sure you don't have them? You know your ass when I remember. You know, remember what was it? When did we make love? Saturday. Yeah. My hands. Remember when I was kneading your buttocks like dough. Remember? And I was going, mmm, mmm. Mm. Remember I was moaning? Yeah. It's because it felt good in my hands. It felt, <laughs> felt womanly. Goodbye. I felt the curve How of your buttocks. How is she going to make sure she doesn't have shin splints? She says she has to make sure. I'm going to speak she's, to she's gonna, She's going to speak to She's going to call, call a doctor in <laughs> to <right>. advise her. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you, just go, why don't you just go run and just work through it? Well, I want to make sure. Oh, you know what, Howard? Let me Look, live I'm the life. doctor. I will be in charge. Who of are you going to call about this? What doctor? What is this going to cost me now? <laughs> <laughs> Would you stop it? It's not the. All right, I'm living words. my own life. Those are ligaments and cartilage. You, speak, you, you, well, that would be good. Yeah. I'll speak to you, Doctor Norris. What do you say? I'll speak to you next. I believe it could be the uh, upper tibia. <laughs> irritation. <laughs> Who are you going to call? You really going to call a doctor? You know what? Can I have any? Uh, no. Can I ask you if you're calling a doctor? Yes, I'm calling a doctor. Are you really? Allison. I'm going to have a conversation. I guarantee if you went out Do right now. Do your legs now. hurt now? Right this minute sitting yeah. on the phone? Yeah. yeah. No. Then oh. you don't have shin splints. <laughs> That's the diagnosis they yeah. heard all the time? All right, good. Tell Alice. her, Robin, please. Well, does Robin know? She never had it. R Robin? Uh, Allison, you don't have it either. I don't want to have it, so <laughs> I'll be very happy not to. She just wants to stop running. She wants to get, you know, she cellulite wants on her ass. to tell her she can't run. Right. You want to be no, like my mother? You, you want to have an ass like my mother? But she... That's what'll happen. You don't run. All right, all right. I don't care. I don't care if they cut your legs off. You're gonna run. <laughs> I don't know how you took over my running, my my activity. Because you involved me. You called me last night with I'm your problem, sorry, and now I'm solving you. it. I'm telling you, it's your mental. I'm sorry, I called you. How could you drive with your shit? Yeah, I'm surprised Robin, I didn't have to pick you up. What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh my god! Throwing <laughs> your book out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that right now. So what? So what are we up to? A twelve-minute mile? Howard. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm going to go to the track with her and walk. <laughs> see if she can beat you'll me. You'll beat her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you probably will. Why don't you run with a bunch of the Yentas and? Uh, I have no one to uh, run with. I like doing it myself. What's wrong with that? Because you don't push yourself hard enough. If I went with me, I'd get you down to a six-minute mile. What is her goal? What is your goal? What kind of mileage do you want to do? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> you see, there's no goal. The goal is to do it as much as I can. Do you want yeah, but you, you want to build up miles oh, I am. time? I'm, no, I'm, I'm, now what I'm doing, it, it started 30 minutes. Now I'm building up to 45. My goal is for her to do at least two hours a day. Well, I'm just asking if she no, has... No, no, I'm building up in time. A yeah. mileage goal, or is she running I have a time, time goal. Right okay. now I have a time and goal. And what time are we building to? 40, 36, 40 minutes. Oh, God. You could... 45 minutes. Why don't you build to like five oh, hours? Five hours. Would you like me to answer? Five yeah, hours. Yeah, five hours. <laughs> I want you running five hours a day. <laughs> Come home all. I'm building to five I hours. I want you anorexic. Oh, then I'll get a lot done in the house. Yeah. No, the same things will get done. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You're a pain in the... <laughs> all right, go run. And don't worry about your splints. I don't even know what that is. What is a shin splint? 
Well, it comes from the running. constant pounding of yeah. your... Uh, She's been running two weeks and, and not even running, walking on a soft track. Joints on yeah. hard surfaces. No, what happened was I went to that hard track. Hmm. The One other time. Day. One time with her father, <laughs> and they, they did a mile. And now she has shin splints. I'm telling you, it's all in her head. Tell her, Robin. She don't listen to well, me Well, I think that you ought to just go out and run again. If okay, you really that's... had a problem, then I'd call a doctor. Thank yeah. you very you can much. Do another... Thank you for your advice. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. She, she gets angry I'll when you... I'll remember to confide in you again. Yeah, you know what, Ro and, and Robin... And your there. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> your <help> buddy. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's almost like Fred getting writer's cramp and he writes nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? If Fred came and said, I couldn't write anything last night, I got writer's cramp. Well, I got writer's cramp. Yeah. I got writer's cramp. The guy hasn't handed me no, in a script such, in a year. You're such a big shot, Howard. Hey, I'm just telling you. All right. Well, I'm just trying to help you, honey. You want to you want to be fit like uh, like me and Robin. You, you gotta. Can, you can chase me around for me to talk to, and I won't be around. Oh, stop it! You love me. It was Chase, nice. It was, oh, stop it! It was it's silly. Nice. You don't have to be co combative. I'm it not, was nice having a relationship oh, with you. Oh, <laughs> stop it! The past. You, used to, you you never used to be combative. You used to take advice, and now you don't. Now you're defensive. Advice? Yeah, I'm advising you. You're not advising me. You're making fun of me. Advice no, I'm not. I could take. You know, I really. I'm thought, saying to you I that really a 12 minute mile I is. I had a friend. A 12 minute mile is nothing to crow about, is what I'm saying. You I should keep that crow. quiet. You've been telling everyone I run a 12 minute mile. <laughs> no, I didn't. You were doing that at the table the whole time we had your family over. Oh my God! Once I said it because you were saying to me, "What are you up to a mile?" I don't even know what I'm up to a mile. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> you know, you're you're still a young woman and you got an athletic body. Go out and push uh, it a little. Uh, push that machine. Thank you. Thank you for your advice. You need you need vigorous exercise. Thank you for your advice. <laughs> you can't mamby pamby yourself. I'm so glad. <laughs> Gotta get out there I'm and really move it. So glad that you're in my life. <laughs> yeah, come on. Goodbye. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do push-ups while we talk on the phone. <laughs> I'm running in place as we That's talk. That's what the girls from Scores do. They do push-ups while they talk on the phone. They're in constant motion. They're in constant motion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my sweet, my sweet pinup. I love you. All right, bye-bye. That's my pinup. She gets she gets a little irritated, but I push her. <laughs> I said, get out. I said, Allison, please just don't start in machines, but just keep running. Your body is really coming back Ignore to where it was. Pain. Yeah, please. I said, you. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> I said, then alternate your workouts, but don't stop working out. Do some other activity that you know goes against your shin splints. <laughs> Works for calf muscles. <sighs> don't ask. Don't ask. Corpses are more active. Oh, stop it. 30 minutes a day is a, is a drop in the bucket. I need this woman out there two, three hours a day doing stuff. Where is this guy she's going by? Where did she get this? I had a running magazine. Uh-huh. And I'm reading it, and I said, Jesus Christ, let me slip this on the table and see what happens. <laughs> so I slipped it on the table, and uh, all of a sudden... You started it, reading it? Yeah, it, it says, run, start, it says, look, start like this, two minutes. It's for people who don't do anything. Two yeah. minutes, and then walk three minutes. So now she's, she's starting to build up steam. I see changes in her body. I'm all excited. I'm excited to see it. Uh-huh. And uh, right away, shin splints. That's <laughs> she it. The end. Felled by a, a yeah, felled. injury. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is what I'm getting what I want. <laughs> and I, she's walking around in little dresses, and I'm, you know, mm, nice. Mm -hmm. She looks good. Mm -hmm. It's my wife. I'm proud. But she's exhausted. But I just wondered where she was, you know, this guy that was telling her she should get up to a certain. Yeah, it's in a ma running magazine. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and there are girls who hike for three hours a day, then they go mountain climbing for two hours. Bob Pittman's wife, Sandy Pittman, I read, she's climbing mountains in the Himalayas. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry's kids are climbing more mountains <laughs> than my wife. <laughs> stop it. I can't stop it. <laughs> They're not climbing more than Alice. Yeah. My wife isn't climbing stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I got all excited. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be encouraging about her running, and right away it's misinterpreted because she's a very sensitive woman. Suddenly, she don't understand when I'm being encouraging, oh. and she takes that as bad. I go twelve minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great I go, all right I go, Jesus Christ, honey, you're running or you're walking? <laughs> she was when I walk, I do a twenty minute mile. Oh. I said, are you, are you strolling? Do you got binoculars? Are you looking at ducks? <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to nip that in the bud. Thanks for helping out, by the way. <laughs> all right, we'll take a break. She's not talking to me either now. Yeah, believe me. <laughs>
like you care. <laughs> we'll take a break, and then we'll be back with uh, the news. Robin uh, will inform us of what's going on. I'll tell you what's happening. Okay, thank you.